Before believing in God, the habitation of our heart was corrupt and weak, as being indeed like a temple made with hands. For it was full of idolatry, and was a habitation of demons, through our doing such things as were opposed to the will of God. Having received the forgiveness of sins, and placed our trust in the name of the Lord, we have become new creatures, formed again from the beginning. Wherefore, in our habitation, God truly dwells in us. How? His word of faith, his calling of promise, the wisdom of the statutes, the commands of the doctrine, he himself prophesying in us, he himself dwelling in us, opening to us who were enslaved by death the doors of the temple, that is, the mouth, and by giving us repentance introduced us into the incorruptible temple. He then who wishes to be saved looks not to man, but to him who dwells in him, and speaks in him, amazed at never having either heard him utter such words with his mouth, nor himself having ever desired to hear them. This is the spiritual temple built for the Lord. Epistle of Barnabas, chapter 16.